Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Rive. I'm currently a first year student at Ryerson University's Faculty of Law in Toronto, Ontario. I am so excited to be chatting with Serena Eschegershen today. She is a third year law student at the University of Calgary's Faculty of Law. And Serena is also a LexisNexis Canada student associate. Big shout out to you LexisNexis for sponsoring this video. Serena, thank you so much for being here today and chatting with me. As a first year student, I'm very, very excited to ask you some of these questions and kind of get your insight and just hear from a very wise upper year student. So thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited and it's so exciting to be part of your channel. It's fantastic. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited to kind of get into it. So why don't we get started with you kind of just telling us a little bit about yourself, you know, how you got into law and maybe why you chose Calgary Law. Tell us more. For sure. So. Um, yeah, so I'm in my third year, which is kind of surprising. It went by <laughs> very quickly. Um, and I decided to go to U Calgary Law um, because I am from Calgary and also because I went um, to UC for undergrad and they're just a fantastic school. So I was like, I'm sure their law school is fantastic too. Um, I've heard great things about um, the program in terms of um, the array of courses available, um, different opportunities to suit everyone's interests, um, one of the highest articling rates in Canada. And so so I made a decision to go to Calgary. I'm very happy with it. It's a fantastic law school if anyone's considering it. Um, it extremely supportive um, staff and peers and professors and it's been all around a really, really great experience. That is so awesome to hear. And if you had to describe your law school experience, your entire law school experience up until this point, now that you're a third year, in one word, how would you describe it and why would you pick that one word? <laughs> That's always a hard one. One word. <laughs> you know, I think um, I would have to go really rewarding. It's been such a rewarding experience all around. And now that I've, I've come to the end, which is crazy, um, it's, it's just been such a fantastic, rewarding experience. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's, that's a really, really good positive word. I was really looking forward to your answer for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I know how, how rough it is in first year, but just got to get through and I promise you it gets so, so much better after it. Yeah, and you know, I, I've seen that you've, you've written a lot of amazing pieces in the Lawyer's Daily. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know what the Lawyer's Daily is, it, it's pretty much a, a publication with uh, um, a lot of different pieces about law school and, and law, legal industry related things. And Serena's written a lot of uh, very incredible pieces that I'll, I'll link in the description down below but oh, thank you. <laughs> and, you know I, I read one of them that you were you were talking about things that you learned in law school and what law school has taught you and you know as a first year I feel like you know it's very common to kind of struggle and, and feel overwhelmed when you're in your first year of law school as a 1L and you just feel like all the readings are piling up on you 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 know you start to just struggle a lot imposter syndrome starts to creep in and I'm really interested to know if these are things that you struggled with when you were in your first year and just kind of how you adjusted it and, and how you got over it. Yeah, of course. I think, um, to be honest, everyone feels that way in first year. It is really, really overwhelming in, in so many different ways. Um, and so I think for me, um, I was really, really anxious about starting law school, even before I got into law school. Just, um, you know, there's a certain website that we shall remain nameless that kind of <laughs> talks about what law school is like. And, you know, I remember going through it and just reading these horror stories and just being like, I cannot do that. Like, that's an insane environment to be in. And so um, that was a little bit concerning before even starting. And, you know, I remember um, my very first day of law school, um, you know, um, the faculty at U of C Law was, um, again, very warm, and I remember they had like a, a cute little breakfast for us, and it, it was it was really, really um, welcoming, but I remember just being there and looking at everyone and seeing all these really smart people and just being like, I can't, I don't know how I'm going to make it, because I'm not this, this type of person you kind of associate with who goes to law school, um, that type A, always like competitive and you know all of that stuff and so I think um, as the first semester progresses and you're kind of hit with all the the things you need to know in terms of how to read a case how to understand the law how to apply the law how to how to write a law exam which is very different from you know typical undergrad exams it's so normal to feel overwhelmed and um, to kind of feel a little bit of, um, I guess like a sense of not belonging and so I think what I would advise um, 
anyone in this position right now is first remind yourself that this is so normal everyone who goes to law school goes through this um, i can promise you everyone goes through this um, to some extent um, and remind yourself that you got in because you are so qualified and um, you know law school committees they know what they're doing they're picking people they know who can who can succeed and i think um, it's really important to have a lot of compassion for yourself in these situations because it is hard it is challenging it's i think an experience that's unparalleled to maybe anything else you've ever experienced so far in your life in a lot of different ways and so i think when you're hit with that sense of oh i can't do this i don't have the time to do all these readings i don't even understand <laughs> what the reading is saying um, just tell yourself you know i just started law school you know they call it law school for a reason it's not oh i'm automatically a lawyer being your student it's very normal and i i think it's really important to remind yourself um that you know it's a process and the fact that you're there that you're trying your best and that um you're you're doing everything you can to succeed is more than enough and i think your first semester you should really be kind to yourself and remember that this semester should be focused on just becoming more comfortable with everything and not overwhelming yourself with pressure in terms of oh i, I don't understand what this is or i don't know what this is or i need a job right now and just being really compassionate because this is totally totally normal and i promise you after this semester once you get through it it gets so much better like this is the worst of the worst but it gets so so much better after this i i'm so glad to hear you say that <laughs> Those were really, uh, that was really incredible insight to hear from a third year student such as yourself. You know, I, I can definitely confirm it, it's been hard these first few months doing law school, and not just your, my first year of law school, but just doing it online has definitely added a layer of complexity um, and making it more difficult. You know, not being able to meet my classmates in person and spend that time with them kind of sucks. But I'm learning that the more I, I kind of I speak with other law students or, or faculty even or just anyone who will listen and just kind of talk through these things that I'm struggling with like a lot of the things that you mentioned all very very true um, it, it really helps when I when I speak to people like you and, and I hear people say a lot of the same thing that you're saying you know it's just law school is hard and, and everyone knows that if it wasn't hard then anyone and everyone could be in law school so um, it's definitely really important I think to, to, to pay heed to everything that you said and just try to remind yourself that you're here for a reason and to be kind to yourself and just kind of remember that the first year is just a lot about adjusting and I'm really hoping what you said is true in terms of, you know, it'll get better from here on out. So it, it really will. I promise you, you know, um, you know, in the spirit of full disclosure, I'll, sh I'll share this little story. I remember the very first grade I got in law school. The very first one was a C plus. And I remember just being like so sad. And I'm like, I, I can't make it. Like I'm getting C's. I've never gotten C's before. And you know what? It turns out just fine. And that's totally, totally normal. And embrace that experience because, you know, that's part of the learning process. And I think most lawyers and law students would agree with this. That's so normal. Don't be hard on yourself. You're doing a fantastic job just by showing up and, and really putting that effort in. I super appreciate you you being so honest about I think that's like, these are things that aren't really talked about a lot, right? Like I, I'm very lucky to have conversations like this with, with people like you who are very honest about, you know, it's, it's not like you have to be perfect and be at the top of your game when you're in your first year of law school. Like you're just figuring it out. And I think mm -hmm. during my first week of law school, um, you know, someone said to us, to our entire cohort that, you know, you, before you came to law school, it's like, you were like the star, you were all the, like the top of your class, you know, you got very high grades, you were excelling in these different ways, but now you're all kind of in this pool of like everybody, like a pool of stars, you know, so it, it can be very uh, overwhelming sometimes to feel like you're, you're inadequate or like you're not as smart as everyone else. But um, I feel like just kind of trying your best to get over that and, and make friends and speak to people, you know, so everyone's in the same boat and everyone's going through the same thing. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's awesome that you shared that with us. So thank you so much, Serena, for your, for your honesty there. <laughs> and, oh, <yeah>. <laughs> and you talked a bit about, you know, just the idea of like figuring out how to, how to read cases and, and go through processes like that when you're in your first year of law school. So in my last video, I actually uh, talked a bit about Lexus Advanced quick law and just how I've been using that throughout these first few months of law school and just how it's been helping me so much. So I'm really interested to know kind of how you've been using LexisNexis over your three years. I mean, I've only been using it for a few months. Um, how you've been using it over the three years of your law school experience. And this this part is a bit uh, more selfish. It's kind of a bit more for me, but you know, all exams are coming up. So if there's any a tip or two that you can share about how, how to use LexisNexis uh, quick law for that, uh, very, very 
much looking forward to hearing your answer to this one. Yeah, for sure. So that's definitely a fantastic resource, I think, for not just law students, but lawyers. And um, it's just a really great resource. So I think, like you touched on, the struggle in first year, especially your first semester, is learning how to read a case. And so I think there's no shortcuts to that. I think you do kind of have to practice that in terms of, okay, what are the facts? What are the issues? What are the holdings? What are the ratio? You know, all that kind of stuff. And that's a skill and that takes time, but it's very, very time consuming. So I think one thing I, I that really helped me when I was um, in first year and second year, and even now, is once you learn how to do that process and you feel comfortable with that, it's totally cool to just pull up, um, you know, a case summary on LexisNexis. And um, in case anyone doesn't know what that is, it's basically um, like a three to four paragraph summary of what are the facts, what are the issues, what's the judicial history, why does this case matter? And so that is so, so helpful in terms of really getting to the root of why um, a case you're reading is important just for um, what does it contribute to the greater uh, case law in terms of its decision. And so one thing I think that's really, really helpful for exams is to first read that case summary, understand what it is the case is about, understand what is going on, and then kind of skim the whole case. Um, and so, you know, I think as you'll find out when you do your first um, exam in law school, it's not, they're not testing you on what are the facts of this case, what, what happened in this case. That's more like the stuff you do in undergrad in terms of that memorization. But really what they want to know is, can you apply the holding of, or the ratio of this case to the fact pattern? So, you know, they give you this fact pattern, identify the issues, what is the law, what do you advise? And so I think the great thing about LexisNexis and their case summary is they give you that ratio very clearly, very um, in an easy to understand way. And so when you're studying and when you understand what that ratio is, when you go into that exam, you're going to know exactly how to apply it. And it's not going to be, um, you know, super confusing in terms of you're like, oh, what's what's the facts of that case and what's this? You just need that ratio and you need to understand why it matters. And so I think if you use the case summaries, it really kind of puts the full picture together. Um, another resource I think is really um, useful throughout law school is Halsbury, which is basically an encyclopedia of, um, of a certain area of law, but it's written in a way that it's, it's very easy to understand. And so I think as you go on to second year and third year, when you're taking courses like admin law or evidence, it becomes a little bit hard at times to see the, the big picture of what's going on. And so when you use um, Halsbury or a similar resource, you can really understand what's going on. And again, using those two resources, as well as skimming the cases and of course going to class and stuff, it's really, really helpful in terms of understanding what's happening and um, making you feel sane because you're like, yep, I know what's happening. I'm ready to take this exam. Definitely. That's, I, Great tips. Thank you so much for that. And you know, I have to say, I love the summaries. Like that's really what's been getting me through all my reading. So <laughs> yeah. last video, just how, how much I really appreciate those summaries or everything. Like they're just so, so important and so, so helpful. They really help minimize the time I'm spending reading a case. So I'm definitely going to take your tips into account. I'm studying for the coming week. So that's awesome. Thank you for that. And now my next question is, you know, now that you've reached kind of the end of your law school career, do you think law school is worth it? Ooh, that's a that's kind of a hot topic question. You know, I think um, I can only speak from my experience, but I think law school is totally worth it um, for so many different reasons. I think, you know, in terms of on a broad scope of it, um, a law degree is going to open so many different doors of opportunity for you and I think the great thing about having a law degree is you have so many different avenues you know you can be like a criminal defense lawyer you could be a family lawyer you could be a corporate lawyer you could you could not even practice law if you want to but you still have that degree and it's going to open so many different um, opportunities for you and some you've never even imagined but they turn out to be fantastic I think you know beyond just having a law degree I think the real value of a law degree is um, it just educates you so much more about society in a way that I don't think you typically would understand had you not have this education. And so I think, you know, the real privilege of having a law degree is that, you know, people need your advice. And I think you're in such a great position to be an advocate and to, to really um, focus on issues like access to justice and, you know, things we know that are so, so imperative for our legal system. and um, it's such a privilege and an honor to do that kind of thing. 
And so I think based on all of the, you know, the, the vast opportunities you're going to be granted, you know, the sense that you're really helping other people and people um, need your help, right? So I think those two things make it so, so rewarding. Um, you know, of course, there are some drawbacks in terms of it is a very expensive degree. <laughs> you know, that's, that's part of it too. And, you know, um, you have to work really hard. <laughs> that's also part of it. And, you know, typically most people, you know, they might start in their early 20s. And then, you know, those are the fun years you kind of have, but you have to spend it in school and learning. But I think all of that considered is a very small price to pay in terms of the benefits you're going to obtain and, and the help you can contribute to society. So I, I definitely think it's so, so rewarding. It's the most rewarding thing I've ever done. So I think it's fantastic. That's amazing. And it's just, it's very reaffirming for me to hear that from you. I'm really hoping in, in two years time, I'll be saying the same thing. I mean, I, I feel like I've wanted to go to law school forever and I've had this dream of being a lawyer forever. But I think it's really key that you brought that point about you know, you don't have to be a practicing lawyer if you go to law school. Like the, the degree and the education you get can be applied virtually in any industry that you that you put yourself into. So I think that's a really key thing. Um, and the other thing is that I love the way law school teaches your brain to think, you know, that critical thinking. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know about you, but my first few months, I already feel like I'm viewing things differently like in, in real life. Like the way I analyze things or I break down arguments that people say, or I, I watch online, if I watch a debate online or something like that or on TV. Um, so I, I really love that. I don't know if you feel this so far. Yeah, for sure. You'll never lose an argument again. So, you know, that's the added bonus of this degree. My parents will love that. <laughs> yeah. So I think that segues really nicely into uh, my final question for you, which is, you know, everything that we've talked about and with your, your three years of, of wisdom that you've obtained now from being in law school, what advice would you give to your first year self? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, you know, I think the number one thing I would tell myself and someone in first year or first semester or whatnot is, you know, just relax because I know it's really, really hard in the beginning. And I know for a lot of people who may not have lawyers in their life, um, you know, you're watching TV, you're watching Judge Judy, you're watching like Legally Blonde and you think this is the reality of it. And I promise you, at least in my experience, law school is nothing like that. It is so much more calm and collaborative and um, just so much better than you imagine it to be. And so I think my only regret I, I have for law school is that, you know, I was so concerned with the future in terms of, am I going to get a job? And what grade am I going to get on this exam? That you kind of forget to enjoy the process a little bit because, you know, um, I promise you that things will work out, you know, and you just have to remember that, you know, things will work out in a way that, and you'll be happy about it. So enjoy the process. Don't let it get to you. Don't make law school your be all end all. Make sure you have balance in your life, like get enough sleep, have fun, <laughs> do your homework, <laughs> whatever. And so I think just relax. It's really, really not as bad as you, when you start how you kind of imagine it to be. Relax, enjoy the journey, have fun with your friends, learn. Um, and it's, it's, that's really the only thing I would tell someone in a in a first year. Just relax. It's going to be okay. I promise. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Serena. That, that concludes all the questions that I have for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to sit down virtually with me and, and chat with me and answer all these questions. It was, I found it really, really helpful and very uplifting and very motivating. Thank you so much again. And thank you again so much to Lexis Nexus Hannah for sponsoring this video. Um, can't wait for the next one. And Serena, I wish you the best of luck and I can't wait to keep, uh, keep updated with, with you and to see where you end up when you're done this final year. So best of luck to you and thank you so much again. This was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. Um, this was so much fun and yeah, it's been great. Shout out to Lexis for sponsoring and thank you again. <laughs> awesome.